something you do every year that you, that you get to go to this? Mom Boss Lady says hello. Vanish says hello. Ghost of Bobby says hello. Lori says hello. You want to come over here and wave and say hi? I can't. Oh, yeah, they, I, did you see his hand? That was probably about, probably about as good as it gets. I'm not going to do the outside ones yet. Let's see if we have enough of their inside. Wait, do I see Derek cooking? Um, he's toasting a hamburger bun to have a hamburger for to have a hamburger for um, lunch. How much of the zucchini it wants? Wants one cup of finely chopped zucchini. I'll do the edges with the greens. I think that'll be pretty. I think that'll look nice. So he is cooking. Yeah, I guess so. I still say that if I die before him, he will live off of tomato soup, green salad, oatmeal, eggs over easy, hot dogs, and that's it. That's what he'll live on. Ooh, Mexican pizza. Ooh. Hey, Derek. Uh, Mom, boss lady would like a hamburger, please. He said, come on over. Of course, there's only one burger bun, one burger left in there, so you guys would have you guys would have to share it. Derek doesn't share food. He's nuking, not cooking. That is true. He has it on broil. I just want to make sure he has it on the right setting, because you know. All right. You know what? One of these slices might be enough. I don't know. This is going to add some moisture, too, to the bread while it cooks, so. Klingon battle for the hamburger. Yes. Yes. I'll tell you, Star Trek had some really interesting life forms. Sometimes I think that the, and I'm, I'm not, okay, I'm not bagging on Star Wars. I'm not hating on Star Wars. But sometimes I think that Star Wars like recycles their characters with no history behind them. I mean, we all know that the Klingons, I'm not the Klingons, the Vulcans and the Romulans are similar in, in appearance, but their species is, they're like cousins. And that's explained and that's talked about. But yeah. Yeah. Sloppy Joes, that's the other one. That's the other one, Belle. Yes. We're going to send him so many pictures of Max when you're here. Oh, Derek's coming with me. Derek already said, Derek asked me last night, Doc, Derek asked me last night, and um, was it, okay, was it Thursday? Was it Thursday night that Pantry was streaming? Whenever Pantry's streaming, I'm watching Pantry, he'll, if, if he comes into the kitchen or if he goes over to the office, he'll lean over and look at the screen to see if Max is over there having dinner or, or if Max is hanging out. On the, on, the little side on the little side counter sometimes where he hangs out, Derek always looks. And even Derek said, he goes, are we going to get to see Max? And he says, let me rephrase that. Max had better be ready because I'm going to scoop him up. <laughs> How cute is that? I thought that was adorable. Two-week New Jersey camp every year. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Now, when you go, when you go to this camp, do you, do you see people there that you saw like last year often? I would imagine there's probably a mix of people who went like the year previous and new people coming in and wanting to. All right, so I think two slices is going to be plenty. Let's, let's see if we have our, had to come in quick for some Star Trek next gen food. We're also gonna be running two contests today. I'm gonna be doing a, I should probably, let me do this. Let me pull up the quiz kit here real quick, guys. Uh, do, 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 do. So, Barry, does the quiz thing show up on the screen before I start? Or do I have to like start setting up the quiz? I mean, I have the questions in there. Or do I have to start the quiz for the questions to, to start coming in? No, I need a little bit more. We'll do this other one here. Had a super busy day today, and now I can finally relax. Aspie, I love that. I love that. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday to you, Faded. <laughs> oh, Adamaris, thank you so very much. 
you get to see her today. The other day when I was streaming and doing my, we were, I did a class on canning potatoes on a pressure canner. I have my, my camp stove here, but she's a 1934 Magic Chef stove. She is an original, over 88 years old, and I use her exclusively. Girl Who Bakes comes in, what? This is going to be this is going to be an interesting. Uh, so, do you want to see my tats? There it is, right there. You know, this is a um, a double-edged sword contribution thing. You want to know how it's a double-edged sword? Let me tell you how it's a double-edged sword. How it's a double-edged sword is one. You're going to start using your channel points. Because everybody's curious, everybody's nosy, everybody wants to know what kind of tats does Kanara have, right? And then, so it's like, okay, but then you use up your points and maybe you don't have your points for other redemptions, like sound wave redemptions, you know? But the part for me is if you guys do raise the points for the tattoo reveal, I'll wear a, I'll wear a, 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 cap, a cap shirt up here. It helps me out in the summertime when I have to wear, right now I'm wearing two shirts, guys. I have a long sleeve shirt on underneath this other shirt here. You need your points for channel redemption. I can understand that. Oh, I got plenty of points. You didn't read the admin chat. <laughs> but I didn't say no. I didn't say no. Full disclosure, full disclosure. All right, so here we have our flour. Oh, we didn't get our salt in here. Let's get our salt in here. Oh my gosh, you guys are just dropping points left and right. I honestly did not, did not uh, think it was gonna go like this. Honestly did not go, hello Kojo, quiz hive. Kojo's like, bring it, bring it. I'm waiting, the stickers have been printed. I'm waiting for them to be mailed. And so hopefully I will have them this coming week. And on the, on the two quizzes, there will be two winners. One is 10 questions. The other one is 10 questions. They all encompass Star Trek Next Generation. Next Generation. We did Star Trek Original last weekend. And the, the instructions some guys, sometimes, guys, can be confusing for folks. Barry already put up in there, and I'll put these up repeatedly again. You will answer the questions. If you're on PC, you answer them in chat. Now, <laughs> You don't answer them in chat. In the window where I'm talking, hello, right down here, it's gonna show the question right about here, and then it's gonna have option one, two, three, and four. And you click on option one, two, three, or four as your answer. The faster you answer, the more points you get. If you get the answer right, and you can get up to 30,000 points for one question. If you answer wrong, you lose that many points. So think about if you're like, if you know it, get in there. If you don't know it, you're like, uh, think about it before you answer. Holy shamoli, holy shamoli, Luminestra, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. Raiders, welcome on into the channel. My name is Kanara. I'm a food and drink streamer here on Twitch. We're doing Star Trek on Sundays for the month of July, and today is Next Generation. So we're doing O'Brien potatoes, uh, Keiko's plankton loaf. We're also doing some tea sandwiches for Picard. I was gonna do tea Earl Grey hot, but it's hot. Here it's hot. And I was like, no, I don't wanna do that one. Lasagna, oh, the butter tarts. They were talking about butter tarts in Rusty Rhymes' uh, talk show this morning. Shmoly, uh, holy shmoly. Holy Toledo, holy cow. Maybe Schmoly is a cow. I don't really know, but it's a phrase that I've used since I was yay tall. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a totally different thing. So what, did we get a shout out for Luminestra? Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, I wanted to make sure, wanted to make sure. It's, um, oh gads. It's gonna be an interesting, I'm baking something that I'm not familiar with in any way, shape or form. The potatoes, I think, will come out great, because let's face it, they're potatoes. Never met a potato I didn't like. Nella, how are you doing today? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I didn't put this. In seven, Steph. Thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that very much. 
Welcome to the Infinity Table. Anybody who follows the channel, it's a free way to support a streamer. Doesn't cost you anything. This way you get alerts, you get to know when I'm going online. So when I'm doing one of my canning streams or something fun like this, you will know about it first. And you guys can come over here and hang out and you get a seat at the Infinity Table. Unlimited seating, you get to customize your chair. We have recliners, we have bean bags, we have the swinging hammock chair. And I don't know who brought that magic carpet, but it needs to be taken outside and dusted. Just saying. Brought to you in part by infinitytables.com. Not a real site, not sponsored. Can always answer food and cooking questions. I can always try. It's hard to mess up potatoes unless you completely burn them. This is a, a russet potato. What we can, and this is one of the jars that didn't seal, so I stuck it in the fridge, and yes, it will get cloudy because the carbohydrates are breaking down inside here. So even the ones in your cupboard will look a little cloudy, but they're, they're fantastic to eat. So the russet potato, the recipe wants me to use some baked potatoes. We're gonna put this in the microwave. We're gonna bake it in the microwave. We're gonna prick this with a, a, a fork several times. So we're gonna use a combination of a russet potato and a white potato to make our O'Brien dress. Taking the carpet outside. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. See, you didn't dust it before you came in from your trip. You've been on this wonderful RV excursion across the country, you know, the, the western half of the US. You pick up a lot of road dust. I love that so much, O'Brien potatoes in that grape. And it actually says O'Brien potatoes in the book. All right, but we wanna get our bread going here. So I wanna get this. So we have our salt in here, okay. We have, oh, we gotta get our seaweed in here. It wants one tablespoon of finely chopped seaweed. All I have is these little, these little sheets over here. What is your favorite recipe for potatoes? Ooh, that is a good one, Kreb. French fries. No, wait, Lay's potato chips. No. Baked potato. Ah. Anyway, I love potatoes. <laughs> I absolutely love, love, love potatoes. He left the cutting board out over there. Talk about OCD. I'll probably use it later. It is hard. You, you know, MD, you are so right. It is hard. Okay, I'm thinking. You know what we're gonna do? Tell you what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do here, folks, is we're gonna take this seaweed and we're gonna put it into the, uh, the old amazing mini food processor and see if we can polarize them. All of them are, oh, good potato salad. I have like, there's two different potato salads. I love my mom and dad's potato salad, which I usually only get when I go down there and that's what makes it special. They live in Southern California. I live in the central area of Oregon. And, but I also like a roasted potato salad that's done with a vinaigrette instead of the mayonnaise base. Use your channel points, use them wisely. Use them wisely. Okay, so I'm going to put the, I don't know if this is going to pulverize this or if it's going to turn it into a paste. It's not doing anything. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see how this, okay, I can, I can, I will take that hydrate. Thank you. Mmm. I forgot to give the warning. I'm so sorry about that. The, the trick to a good German potato salad, and this is something we've done on stream and we're going to be doing again. The trick to a good potato salad is a whole grain mustard. That is a trick to a good potato salad. Okay, so we have... Do you guys like the sound of the Enterprise? The, the sound of the... Um, deck sounds, I guess. All right, there we go. All right, so we have our potato salad. Okay, we have our potato salad in with our plankton loaf because that's where potato salad goes. That's where potato salad goes. Krev's got me thinking about potato salad. All right, so we have our stuff in here. We have our, I'm gonna get a little tiny, I'm gonna get a little mini spatula because when the yeast foams up like that, this is part of the stuff that we need to have to make this bread rise, correct? And when this comes up on the edge there, when I go when I go to pour this, you can see all the stuff that's that's sticking up here. I need all that. So I'm gonna get in there and we're gonna get all of that, oops, all of that foamy goodness out. I always recommend that when you're proofing your yeast, always make sure you add a little bit of sugar. You don't have to add a whole lot. A little a little pinch will do you. A little pinch will do you. Okay, so let's add in. Well, let's put these in. What's not to like about the thrum of a finely tuned warp cord? Chad, you are so right. 
Jeff, did you come in with the raid? How are you doing today? All right, so this is our green tea. It's good white noise if you need something like that to sleep. I never thought about that. I think the beeping, though, I don't think I could do the beeping sound while I was sleeping. Lex, hello, how are you doing? Science is here. We need shout outs for these wonderful humans. All right, so it wanted me to add science. Um, I tagged you in Rusty's stream, but I think, you, I think you were like toggling between streams or something like that. I don't know how this is going to taste, guys, but it said to put the, it wants tea leaves in here. So I'm just going to put the tea leaves from the tea bag in here. Here we go, folks. This is where the ride could get a little bumpy. You might want to buckle up. Anyway, uh, he was talking about, and he had showed on stream, that young woolly mammoth that they had found, right? And they were talking about the DNA, and I don't know that I'd want to eat this. Okay, well, this is how we learn. This is how we do it. And uh, cr creating another woolly mammoth. And I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly or not, but was it mentioned that they, had, they were going to have to mix the DNA with an Asian elephant? I want to make sure I got that. I got that right in there. I talk a lot. It's like me too. I do the same thing. That's why you use next generation shift noises. Uh, this is a plankton loaf. So we have seaweed in here and the tea leaves. There is no accounting for taste at this point. Oh, the bees in there. So basically they're taking the Asian elephant. Okay, so I was right that, they had to t that they're having to use part of the the DNA from an Asian elephant. Oops, I don't need that over there. Look at me paying attention. I even said, yeah, he had some of the, he had some of the hair, not from, not from that woolly mammoth, but from another woolly mammoth that he was showing on, on stream. And we all got to kind of see this and see it under the microscope. It still had that really cool amber color. If you guys want to learn about science and have it be fun, go follow, go follow science right there. He and his wife make learning fun. And learning should always be fun. If you've got a teacher that makes learning, makes you want to bang your head against a brick wall because it's just so bleh, you need to talk to like the administrators and stuff like that because learning should be entertaining. The person teaching has to love what they're doing, right? In order to make it, I don't know if, I don't know if this is going to be right or not. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're all hoping here. I need everybody to think happy thoughts about the... They're mutating 37 genes to make it more mammoth-like. And Shana has redeemed Tell It Like Julia. Whew, okay. A bad teacher can ruin the topic, hands down. Hands, hands down. So basically, science, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's a cool thing that they're actually doing that. There we go, popping up those emails. So in the words of, of Julia Child that I'm going to be doing for you now is we're making a plankton loaf. And, and I must say, I've, I've never done one of these plankton loaves. This is from a, a show that will be shown in my future called Star Trek. And I, I rather think of it as, as star hopping when I, think of, when I think of the title of the show. I find, it, I find it quite amusing. I'm not sure how we're going to be able to, to manage that, but I'm sure there are, are wonderful scientists that are, that are working on that. And this plankton loaf is going to have some seaweed in it. We're going to have some zucchini, but it's not going to be sweet. So this will not be a, a zucchini bread that you'd want to enjoy with a, a nice cup of coffee or, in this case, a cup of Earl Grey tea hot, as I am told. And I hope you will all enjoy it and stick around and we'll see if this, if this all comes together. Bon appetit. <laughs> Have they not seen Jurassic Park? I know, I'm like, can we learn by this? But here's another thing. Um, science, the gentleman who's the paleontologist. I was in his stream this morning watching DJ Skids coming in 18 months, coming out hot, coming out hot, boom. How are you doing, DJ? Science, thank you so much for those bits. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna put some, oh, oh, okay. I, my curiosity now is really peaked because, this has already been scrubbed and washed, because the zucchini in here and kneading this bread. Have you seen, I don't have HBO. I don't have HBO. I only pay for Hulu, just, just regular Hulu. And, and Netflix, that's, that's all I have. Okay, 
I'm going to move this over here. We don't need this anymore. <laughs> we may, but I'll just get another one out of there. But no, I have not seen it, and I'm upset that they didn't call me. Just saying I'm upset. I am a performer, but, uh, but I had a quick question for you for the jam that you sent me. Can I store it in there? Yes, you can store it in there indefinitely. Take the rings off, though. Remember we talked about that ring? Save the rings because you can use the jars for something else. And store it in your pantry, and you'll be good to go. Best if used within, within three years, I would say. I think I'm going to need a lot more water in there. Let's just get some more. I want this to kind of come together. Come together like dough. Dough for me. You can use channel points to show tats. Okay. Um, straight up legit. I was supposed to send that jam to DJ a year ago. DJ spent several hours on the phone on, just on a Discord call with me, helping me set up my very first overlays because I was very, very confused and I was really not grasping. I mean, now I can make overlays, you know. Now I make overlays all the time, it's no big deal. But I was really struggling with it and she helped me out on that. So I owed her some. Surely there's a week. You know, okay, I tried to, full disclosure, I did the Paramount thing. And apparently other people have had this problem too. I signed up for the one week free on Paramount. And I was like, oh, I want to try that. Yeah, this is just like really crumbly. Okay, let's get all that. Let's just keep folding it. Let's just keep folding it. We have moisture in there. And so I signed up for the, the one week free on, on Paramount. And you have to put in your credit card information and all that kind of stuff because after one week, we will charge you the regular price of whatever it was, $5.99 or whatever. They started charging me for the full, like, no commercials. I didn't get the one week free. They charged me whatever it was, the $15 a month straight up. And I said, no, I didn't sign up for that. I signed up for the one week free. And it, and it charged me. And they're like, oh, we're so sorry about that. Okay, well, we've canceled that for you. So they did. But they also canceled my one week. And then when I went to sign up for the one week, it says, you've already... You've already used your one week. I was like, no, I didn't. So yeah, I was not, not amused on there. Doesn't talk about how. This may not um, come to fruition, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. There we go. We're doing the, yeah, I was like, and, then, and when I mentioned that it was, um, was it, was it that last week in the Star Trek, in the um, original Star Trek theme we talked about? And somebody else in, in, in chat said that happened to me too. They signed up for the one week, they got charged for the, the full thing, and they contacted them and said, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this, and then kaplooey, they canceled theirs as well. Make sure you are supposed to be needing that. It doesn't, it says put it into your bread machine and follow your bread machine's instructions. So the bread machine is gonna mix everything together and it's gonna need it for a couple of minutes because it has yeast. So we have to build up some gluten, I think, found. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna see what's gonna happen here. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit, a little bit more. So I'm assuming that, I, I'm assuming, I, I'm the bread machine, I'm the bread machine. It just seems weird to be kneading with zucchini in it, but it's raw zucchini, it's not cooked zucchini, so it's not mushing out. Okay, let's put this over here. Found, there we go. I really didn't think you guys would find them that quickly. So as soon as I get done kneading this, we might start, get ready to start with our first, our very first uh, trivia question. And the trivia question is, if you guys, if somebody does exclamation point merch and you go to the merch store, you guys will see a t-shirt that, I uh, have sweatshirts, t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, mugs, and water bottles. And that's Leonardo da Pinci. So Leonardo's a little tiny red crab that we hide on stream every time. And he has been cartoonified for merch and I'm having stickers made of him. So whoever get, whoever wins this trivia, this first um, trivia thing will get a sticker and whoever wins the second one will get a sticker. Okay, this is starting to come together. We have merch, thank you DJ. We have merch, merch. Is my boyfriend watching that nerdy stuff? Oh my gosh, how cool is that Shayna? We have to have all the I have to have all the nerdy stuff. I don't want to put this in there because that was stuck to my hand and my hands are clean, but still just, okay. 
I don't know if I should let this rise in the bowl, if I should let this rise in the pan. I'm thinking about letting it rise in the pan. Maybe I'll just spray it with some Pam and we'll form it into a small loaf and we'll see what happens. Or does anybody else have a better suggestion because I'm not a baker? I need to know. So much Star Trek goodness on Paramount though. I know. Jeff, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the fam. We also have a Discord channel. So if you guys are wanting to learn how to can foods, if you want recipes to some of, of the foods that we do on here, if you want to share your recipes, share your pictures, that's where to do it. What, got a funny meme you want to share? I do actually keep them PG-13 because I'm PG-13. So just I just put that out there. I usually let the bread rise in the bowl, but grease it first. So this is like a vegetable bread uh, fire flour. It's, it's got yeast, so it's a yeasted bread, but it's not, the instructions were not to like knead it like by hand. It was to put everything into a bread machine and follow your bread machine's instructions on how you add everything. I'm just kind of curious. I suck at trivia. It's all going to be based on Star Trek Next Generation. I'm thinking I'm just going to put it in the pan like this and just let it set. What do you think? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Beautiful day outside today, guys. Another, it's going to be a warm one. I don't know if I will be able to have the camera out there come later July slash August for this view here because the heat. I'm not sure if the heat is going to have an effect on, on the camera. Now, the camera is not in the sun right now, I don't think. Hang on. No, the camera is officially in the shade now. So usually when I start my stream, the camera does go inside the shade. So hopefully that will, that will help. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. I do have a princess bread maker, but the blade is so small. I was really surprised when I, when I had my bread maker, it was, it really did a good job. We've got weird high winds kicking up in the heat. Yeesh. What happened to the fan shroud above your stove? That is the fan. Oh, well this, this here, this whole thing pulls down and covers all this and matches this. So I could have a, I could have like a serving platform clear across, but this is just my regular fan. There's the vents there and I've got the lights and everything. If that didn't answer the question, please let me know. 104? No. No. Okay, so we're going to put this in here. We're going to see what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. Inquiry minds want to know. I'm going to put it on, the, on top over here, though, because there is some residual heat from these lights. These are halogen lights, but when I bake it, I'm going to bake it in a little oven. I was not turning that thing on today. There was no way in heck I was going to turn, turn that on. Uh, God, six, I gotta get this on my hand. We've reached stupid hot. <laughs> 107? Oh my gosh, but I do need to bake my own bread soon because prizes. Oh, the oh, prices right now are, are nuts on, on cost of things. And this is why you guys, I'm trying to encourage you guys to start canning. So some people were talking about, um, you know, they, they can't grow gardens because maybe they live in an apartment complex or a small house and they can't do a garden. And I, and I understand that, but you might want to talk to somebody who does have a garden. They might have a bumper crop. And if they have a bumper crop, then what you could say is, hey, how about we each get our own jars and you give me 40 pounds of tomatoes. And however many jars I get, you get half. So it's, it's a way to barter. It's, it's a way to barter for, you know, canning your food, stuff like that. Tomatoes can be done in a water bath. The only thing that can't be done in a water bath are low acid foods. Okay, so 
if you're doing green beans. But if you're pickling them, you can do them like that. So you've got different ways of actually doing it. I love the canning potatoes idea. I get a bunch of them. I, I love having potatoes on hand. The other day, I took some from the first jar that uh, didn't seal, and I just did a rough chop on them, put a skillet on, put some bacon drippings in there, threw in you know, a handful of onions and, and the potatoes. Remember, the potatoes are already cooked, so you're just heating them through and kind of browning them. It's not like they're going to be in there a long time because they, they, they've already been cooked through the pressure canner. And I'll show you guys how tender these are. I want to get this thoroughly clean because I'm going to be cutting vegetables on it for other things. You can also trade canned goods for other ones. Heck yeah. Oh, Chef Nagin. Oh, Chef Nagin. By the way, um, we need to, I'm in the, there we go. Um, where is, it's gonna open up. Do, 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 no. Okay, why is this? Why can't I figure this out? Oh, there we go. Good, I take those good vibes. I will take those good vibes. I have made my screen so big I cannot see my chat. What the heck have I done here? Oh, it was behind the quiz kit. Okay, I have my screen back. It was behind the... So, yesterday was this lovely, this lovely person's birthday, Miss Chef Nagin. So you know what we have to do, guys? You know what we do here when we know it's somebody's birthday? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Chef Nagin, that totally went flat, happy birthday to you and many more, I was close, ooh, I don't know, okay, you know what that, okay, okay, I got, I, I'll have to work on that. I'll have to work on that, Jeb. That, I've, I gotta find some, some footage of her doing some stuff. I loaf you, I loaf you. I hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday. Did you see the card that everybody signed, the, the digital card that everybody signed for you? That was, that was lovely. Uh, a couple people sent me the, the link, and I, I know that they were sending the link around to everybody in your Discord, stuff like that, to here, sign the card, it's her birthday, so everybody got to sign the card for you and stuff. It was, I, I hope you had a lovely, have you got to, hey, have you had a chance to play with a new camera yet? I have the Canon EOS, the Canon EOS 50 Mark II, I, I don't know all the things on there. Took me forever to figure out the settings on that thing, ever. I had it for like a month and a half before, and I, even then, I didn't figure it out, he figured it out. He finally sat down and he went just, he went at like one at a time. And he has so much more patience than that. I have not yet. I'm trying to get, the, oh, uh, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Okay, let's, I'm just going to set a loose timer here. Ooh, <laughs> apparently a loose timer is eight hours. You guys will all be here then, right? If I stream for another eight hours, you guys will all be here, really, right? No? Yeah? Okay. So let's work on... The O'Brien potatoes are only going to take 30 minutes. So we're going to kind of work on making it. We're going to do a couple of fillings. We're going to make three different types of tea sandwiches. So I want to get some water boiling. I didn't want to get out the Instant Pot for two eggs. I was like, eh, I don't want to get out the Instant Pot for two eggs. So I think, we should we stick around for that? Yeah, not a problem. What is, <laughs> Nagin, did you see the other, did you see the Channel Point Redemption? saying just saying what were those for oh, that's for the potatoes nine hours only if I can lurk for most of that there you go we love our lurkers I have two eggs left hopefully they will I don't need to put that over there hopefully 
they will work in how I want them to work. We're gonna, we're gonna hard boil these. I use the last of a <laughs> Yeah, there's a method behind my madness. There's a madness behind my method and a method behind my madness. Somehow that sounds logical to me. I don't know why. So let's I don't care if you do your baked potatoes in the microwave. Thank you for the good vibes. I don't care if you do your baked potatoes in the stove. I don't care if you do your baked potatoes out on the grill. But what you should always do is poke holes in your potato before you actually do it. I will take that hydrate, thank you. <laughs> My method is twofold on that. One, it burns through people's channel points. So they have, to make, they have to make the decision. Channel points for a meal redemption? Gotta hoard them. Channel points for let's make Kanara do the crab dance? Because let's face it, it's always fun. Or crab, or channel point uh, redemption because y'all are nosy and wanna know what my tattoos are. <laughs> so yes, I'm... Yeah, that's ginormous. I, on that one, that one that big, I'll start with five minutes, I'll flip it over, I'll do another four minutes, and I just kind of squeeze it to see if it's done. I want it to kind of cool a little bit before we break it up, and we'll chop up these potatoes, and we're gonna get, let's get started on doing, so tea sandwiches, I have my cream cheese, I want that to get soft. These tea sandwiches that we're going to make, we're gonna do a chicken salad tea sandwich. We are going to do one that is, oh, I'm gonna get my cucumber, uh, English cucumber. Now the English cucumber one is going to have a little bit of lemon zest in the cream cheese. So we're gonna make, we're gonna make three different cream cheese sauces. One of them is gonna be just the cream cheese, a little bit of lemon juice and some uh, lemon, some lemon zest. The other one, and that's gonna be for the one that we're gonna use with the cucumber. The one that we're gonna use with the eggs, we're going to use a little bit of cream cheese and some dill. And then the one that we're going to use with the chicken is going to be a little bit of cream cheese and these are mild flavors we're not doing anything that's going to be too spicy and too outlandish and i might just do a little bit of paprika just because it would give it a little bit of color i have enough points for two recipe redemptions but i don't know what i want to use them on start thinking start thinking we're going to be doing um uh, md's next is it next week md that we're doing yours we're doing your we're doing your meal redemption we're going to do a a either an oven or grill or cast iron um brick chicken we're going to be doing duchess potatoes is it duchess potatoes is that what it's called anyway we're going to mash the potatoes up we're going to season them we're going to pipe them in these beautiful little spirals we're going to bake them like that to get kind of crunchy on the outside so good hey you blow up in there you're cleaning yourself up and i can't remember what we decided for a veggie i'll have to go back and look at my notes so we're going to try some different things a thistle an oak how are you doing today it is so good to see you it is so good to see you guys go follow thistle and oak this is such a fun couple to watch i was lurking for a little bit in your stream i was in the middle of, of getting stuff prepped and everything on there what were you frying today though in the fryer i, I didn't catch what you guys were frying bite the tongue that one no that, did you like bite your tongue or are you biting your tongue not to say something brick potato sounds like a lego recipe i didn't think about that it does doesn't it? i have cast iron weights that I use in lieu of bricks, but normally you just get a big brick, you just wrap it in foil, and, and, you, and what it does is it presses that, that chicken down and gets more surface area on the skin to crisp up. I have a half a chicken that we might, we might do, I have a whole half a chicken, because we, we, I was gonna spatchcock a chicken, I ended up cutting it in half. I still have a whole, that whole half a chicken frozen, we might use that, and we'll do it in a cast iron skillet. Mm. We made hand pies, we tried frying them, but they ended up being better baked. Okay, there you go. Hey, but at least you punted and you tried with a different, a different um, cooking technique. That's all in how you learn. It's all in, all in how, all in how you learn it. Why not spatchcock? Even spatchcocked, it. That potato just does not sound happy. If you take a spatchcock chicken, right, and lay it down on your cutting board, right, and you've 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 cut out you've cut out the spine, you've taken out the the breastbone here, and also cut out the wishbone. So the wishbone will be at the top of the breast. You take your paring knife, get in there and cut that out. Even if you do a whole chicken and you trust it, if you want to do a nice roasted chicken for Sunday dinner or whatever, cut out the wishbone. 
lift up the skin from the top of the breast where the head would be, get your little paring knife in there and cut that wishbone out before you put it into your oven to bake. It makes it much easier to carve the chicken without having that wishbone in there. But even if you take a, a spatchcock chicken and you lay it down, what tends to touch is just the center portion of, of the breast and where the thighs are, are, are splayed open. So the thighs are normally like this, but we, now we've splayed them open. So the, the top part of the leg and thigh touch, but nothing else does. By weighting it down, we're pushing on it and we're, we're, we're adding more surface area that's gonna touch that skillet and get that nice browning caramelization crispiness that we wanna have on there. Pressed chicken, there, here, pressed chicken. For those that have a panini press, I put one on my wish list because I need to get a new panini press, is one of the best things you can do in a panini press is a game hen. And I spatchcock my little tiny game hen, I season them up real good, put them into the panini press, press that thing down, but then I actually take a cast iron pan and put it on top of the, like with a, a towel or something, put it on top to really, well, and the, the whole, the game hen cooks in like 15 minutes. Are we talking my redemption? Yes, we're talking about your, your brick chicken. Oh, and I wanted to ask you, uh, MD, don't let me forget, I want to ask you about the marinade we're going to do on the chicken. Did you want me to do the Coca-Cola? And I'll tell you, that the Coca-Cola brick chicken, you don't use diet, you can't use diet Coca-Cola. All it is is a can of Coke and I believe a half a cup of salt. Might only be a quarter cup of salt. I have to check my recipes. Get the paprika app, trust me. And you marinate the chicken overnight and then, oh, it is hands down fantastic. All right, so that was five minutes. There we go. Pressed chicken. But yeah, a lot of times I'll, I'll spatchcock it and I still use the brick or I still use the weights on it. All right, that's getting ready to simmer. Simmer, do, 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 do. Oh, that's how we like it. Those two little eggs look like eyes. Well, we could, we could do that. Let's see, we could go. Oops, I'm not very good at drawing, guys. Okay, now it looks like he's frowning. <laughs> I don't know. The eyes are, oh, I love the eyes on Leo. I love how how the artist got those on there. Those were so, I mean, I just got, I just fell in love with Leo right away. Right away when I saw those eyeballs. So does that, does that work for you, Bobby? Does that make it easier? Derek even said they look like person. Yeah, Derek said, there it goes. These have more personality. He looks more approachable. I'm like, because Leo should be approachable. <laughs> Boil. Does anybody remember Horton Hears a Who? Boil that dust speck. Boil that dust speck. Boil, boil. Nobody remembers Dr. Seuss stuff? Okay. I used to, I used to love watching all the different Dr. Seuss. Uh, we've got that is on the set on the timer. So yeah, we're, oh, let's, let's start making up some of our, especially because we're making up, we're doing some dill, right? And I'm using dried dill. If you have fresh dill, use fresh dill because as you chop it, it bruises and extracts more of the oils from the dill. So you're your cream cheese is really gonna have that punch of dill flavor because I don't. I'm gonna take some of my dried dill, we're gonna rehydrate it a little bit and some of the lemon juice that we're gonna be using, that's gonna kinda, oop, there we go. That's gonna kinda help that, um, that flavor. Okay, so we're gonna take the eye, we're gonna take the eye, the eye eggs. Please don't break. I know I have not cooked eggs in a pot of water in probably 10 years. I need you to get off this spoon without cracking. Okay. What is it, 10 minutes? You boil them 10 minutes? Oh, I can't use this one. Cause that's being used for the bread rising. Is it 10 minutes? Is it 10 minutes for a hard boiled egg? Show you how long, show you how long it's been since I've done it. Found, there we go. 
There, oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting Siri has a Siri bot has a timer in there. Thank you. Oh, the rice cooker. That'd be good. I put my rice cooker. I packed my rice cooker and put it away. The minute I started cooking rice on the stove, I've never gone back. I've used my rice cooker for years and years and years, but I get better results doing it on the stove now than I did. Uh, let's do them. Um, all right, so this will be, that'll be kind of our lemony, our lemony bowl, right? We'll use this one for the dill. Okay, that's a little crazy in there. I don't need you crazy boiling. No, no crazy boiling. And for the paprika, we'll just use regular paprika. We're not going to use a smoked paprika. Did you change? I did change the batteries. <laughs> Actually, Derek did for me. Oh, I was, I was like, uh, yeah, we need to get that. We need to get that fixed. All right, so this is going to, let's do some of our, I wish I could cook rice on the stove. The minute I learned, uh, Hanby is the one who taught me the correct way to do the rice on the stove. And I've never looked back since then. Okay, no craziness on there. I only use rice cookers. I get much better results. See, for me on the rice cookers, I don't like that small little heating element that it gets pushed down by the bowl, and as evaporation happens, the bowl gets lighter in weight, and that can pop off your timer. And sometimes it would pop too soon. And then if you leave it on the warm cycle too long, I don't like the burned rice that gets on the bottom. And I know that's a delicacy, and it's used in, in other, but when I want my full, you know, full cup of rice, it's gonna cook up into three cups of rice, I want every kernel to be pristine and perfect and, and edible. So yeah, I haven't used that in a, in a long time. So we're just gonna use a little bit of our, wait. Nope, that doesn't go in there. Wait, we're doing the lemon. We're doing the dill with the egg and the lemon. Okay. Let me get, let me get out these little, uh, there we go. Wrong. Hydrate the dill, but we're doing the lemon for the, the dill for the egg, the lemon for the cucumber and the paprika thing here. So we're gonna use some, we'll just use a little tiny bit of warm water, not a lot. Make sure it's still warm. I thought, that's not too bad. Hopefully this will work. I'm here listening to the fun in the background. I will take that lurk. Thank you so much. We're gonna rehydrate this with water instead. And this just helps bloom the, the flavors a little bit because when it's dehydrated, it's, you know, it's, first of all, you lose all that water that's in there, right? And you have to, that's why if you use herbs, like in think that you're mixing, kind of crush them up. So if you measure out like a teaspoon, kind of pick up, kind of crush it before you put it into your dish. You'll get more flavor. All right, so that will, so now we're gonna put our lemon in here. I'm just using the yellow part. Hydrate the dill. Ooh. What time is that? Six minutes, okay. Always like, what goes where? My daughter was doing the HelloFresh meals for a while because she was so busy. You know, her job was really taking up a lot of her time. And I gotta tell you, those meals were really good. I was surprised at how tasty they were. Uh, did you happen to see the hair last night on stream? Okay, it was too, it was a little too dark, but is it back to the blue? Oh, is it to the dark that? blue? Oh, Charm Kit Kat, thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing this beautiful Sunday? I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I'm not gonna do the whole lemon. Invisible Dimensions, welcome in. Nice to see you today. It's now bright purple. Girl, get a picture of that up in the Discord. What are you sitting here? Keeping me guessing, keeping me wondering. Thank you, Raven. We like all the lurks. I went onto a different site and it was, here, hang on, let me put up the, this is what it gave me for today's star date. 75981.d. That's what it gave me for the star date. I don't know. 
what is and is not the right star date. That's what it gave me, and that's what we're going with. Another site gave me 44, and I knew this site was wrong because it gave me 44, 364, 364.8 or something like that. And I was like, oh, I had the wrong date in there. So I changed the date. It gave me the same star date. So then I was like, well, wait a minute. Let's change the month too. Same star date. And I'm like, mm, you're not right. All right, just a little tiny bit of lemon juice, not a lot. I want a light lemon flavor, I like, I like a light and bright lemon flavor. All right, so this, and then we'll do this one over here for our, and we're only gonna do the cream cheese on one side. Oh, I gotta get some more cream cheese out of the freezer. We're not gonna do cream cheese on both sides of the bread, just one side, because it can be an overpower, it can be, cream cheese can be an overpowering type flavor, but I wanna have enough for both. I mean, for all three flavors. We're gonna use all of this. Don't, don't you be doing anything wonky over, oh, you're heating, I like, where'd you get your star date from, Invisible? All right, we'll use this one for the, let's get out our paprika. Paprika. Let's get out a, mm, I don't know about that. Let me think about that. We're going to, we're, I'm not going to do a whole lot of paprika. And we're going to taste this for seasoning. A little bit of salt is already in the sour cream, so sour cream, in the cream cheese, but we want to taste for seasoning, make sure. Maybe an alternate dimension. Oh, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Okay, hang on here. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Let's do a ready-made quiz. We're going to, this is just going to be a quick quiz. Super easy. I got to find one on here. 10 questions. Um, general trivia. I want something like, it doesn't sound like these are like easy. This is not going to count. This will, pop culture. I don't know anything about Pokemon. Fall Guys, Fortnite. You should know this. This one only has eight questions. Let's do this one. All right. If somebody can, there you go. Thank you so much, Barry. This will increase the wait time between questions significantly. Okay, I'm turning on the, mul the mobile high latency mode. It says this will increase the wait time between questions significantly, but this allows people on mobile because sometimes there can be a lag or a delay. So uh, this will show the quiz rules on your stream. So this is gonna pop up the quiz rules. Ask viewers to manage access by clicking the quiz kit icon. And Barry has put in there the directions for PC as well as for, oh, Star, STO Star Trek Academy Online. I didn't think about that one. So, so this should be sent, is, did the rules come out to all y'all? And this is not the Star Trek quiz. This is not the Star Trek quiz. Wave, the, there should be a kit box over here on my screen. You put your, put your cursor here on the screen somewhere. Bring it, put your, if you're on PC, put your cursor over here and you're gonna see the little quiz kit icon show up in the view window where you see me. And this is also where you're gonna see the questions. The questions are gonna be right down here below me. It's gonna show the question and four possible answers if you're on PC. And if you're on PC, you click the answer on the screen. Do not type it into the chat. I'm gonna even do the little window thing here. It's in the middle of the microwave. It's right here, here. You guys get it? Do you guys see it right here? Right here? Hang on, I gotta check my potato. <laughs> nope, that's still not done. We're gonna, we're gonna go another three minutes on that. Not yet, but I'm on mobile. mobile I believe is below the chat window. Cocaine, I don't have the stove command right now. There's been some, there's been some not so nice people um, swatting food and drink streamers by trying to get their personal information. So I wanted to make sure that there was no personal information on there and I haven't had a chance to go 
check out that blog to make sure that it's okay and stuff like that. So I do apologize. Oh, hey, it's Cat. How are you doing, Cat? Thank you so much for that raid. Cat, I heart your face. How are you doing today? How was your stream? What were you streaming today? Were you doing, oh, you're doing uh, the Phasmophobia. That game scares me. That game scares me. I was watching one and somebody, it might have been Sophia the Hobbit. It might have been Sophia the Hobbit. And something kind of like drooled out of the wall. It looked like black goo that kind of like, just like fell out of the wall and it was a ghost or something. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're gonna chill these down. I hope 10 minutes is enough. Is 10 minutes, is it? I cook food, this is what I do. I'm culinary trained, this is what I do. I haven't cooked an egg in water in over a decade. So I'm like, 10 minutes. Yeah, but is it 10 minutes or is it longer to cook the egg? I think it's only 10 minutes. Okay, then we're gonna go with it. You know what? Whatever it is, it is. We'll make it work. It's cooked, so I'm not worried about eating raw egg. All right, let's get these in some cold water. They can just sit there and get happy for a while. They'll be fine. Yeah, we're gonna use them in a sandwich. We're gonna make kind of like a, an egg, a lemony, no, a dill egg sandwich. The lemony one here that I'm doing, this is cream cheese lemon zest and a little bit of lemon um, juice. This is gonna be for the cucumber sandwiches. The one that is for the, um, with the paprika is gonna be, uh, gadzooks. The ones for the paprika is gonna be for the chicken. New hair posting, thank you. Sitting there trying to tell me what it looks like without giving me a picture. Woman, woman, you know better. All right. So did everybody, did the, did the graphic come over that showed you guys how to get into the game, whether on mobile or via Twitch? That's very important. I wanna make sure you guys all have that because I have to know who you are because if you win, I wanna make sure you get the sticker. It showed on stream last night. No, your hair, all I could see was your, was your face and the, and the headphones you have had on. I didn't see your hair at all. I didn't see your hair at all. It's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. All right, so let's do, oh, I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna view that. I don't know why that popped up. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna start the game. I don't know what these questions are, guys. Uh, what is the standard greeting at a job interview? A handshake, a burp, a high five, or a hug? Well, that depends on what the job interview is for. <laughs> and that's what we call read the room. <laughs> I had a graphic on mobile, but it's gone now. So you have to go to, let's see, on the mobile, on the mobile. Hey, Jay Burner, how are you doing? I can't find my mouse. It's back now. Yeah, and you have to, on, on mobile, you have to stay in that window to answer the questions, I think. You have to actually stay inside that window. I don't know why this is still boiling. Let's put this over here. We're gonna do that. Can we use that residual heat to help rise that bread up over there? Wick, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. You have to move to quiz kit and bounce back and forth between chat. So I will announce each question before I put the question up so that you can go back to the the quiz kit menu if you're on mobile and stay there until the question comes up. And then once you answer, you can come back to the chat here. Stay in the window, uh, don't get out of it. That's why it tends to disappear, okay. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's, it's, you know, it's part of a learning curve. Once you've done these a couple of times, you'll, you'll understand like how to do them, but a burp. All right, let's reveal the answer. It is a handshake, but we all know who said burp. <laughs> Remember the interview, do you guys remember um, Step Brothers? When the two of them are in the interview 
and what's his name burps and the guy goes is that ketchup and onions i can taste that on my tongue <laughs> i was like no 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 we're going to we're going to do a couple we're going to do a couple of of each so my thought was let's see for We'll do this one as the flower. We'll do this one as this one. We'll do this one. As... So I've got this cute little uh, fluted, like, now this one, I was going to cut the sandwiches round. Oh, Rest in pieces. Thank you so much for the resub two months in a row. I so appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. You guys ready for the next question? For those of you on mobile, please return to quiz kit. And uh, let's go on to question number two of this. Oh, it's still up. The quiz answer is still up. Yeah, I'm letting, the, I'm letting the people on mobile know ahead of time, so before I click next, they can go into the quiz kit. So question number two, again, this is just a generic test. Question two, what tool should you check your car's oil level with before journeys? A prit stick, a chopstick, a lollipop stick, or a dipstick? Or a derrick? All right, so this is the paprika. Still chocolate. Thank you so much for that follow. That's good. All right. This is the lemon. That's really good, but that needs some salt. All right, we're going to add a little bit of salt in there. All right. This is the dill. That one needs a little salt. I ran out of fingers. Ran out of fingers. I might be able to get two, two of each one out of this. Mobile is working great, outstanding. You definitely use chopsticks to check your oil. Oh yeah, because how else are you gonna get the clumps out? You know, with the chopsticks, you can get in there, you can get the clumps out, right? I mean, that's what logic says to me. Okay, let's reveal the answer. That would be the dipstick, the lollipop stick. I use floss. <laughs> oh, you could use a string with a rock on it. And back in the day when they, the ships were coming through the Mississippi River, they would have this like rock tied on and the rock was tied to a rope and this rope had measurements. And so they had to make sure they weren't gonna run aground onto a sandbar. And they would take the rock and they would throw it Bloop, and they'd wait till it sunk and they would see the marking on the rope and they'd pull it up and they'd yell out four fathoms. So yeah, my mobile side isn't working. It won't let me click the answer. You have to stay in the, are you staying inside the, I've never done on mobile, so I don't, I've never watched Twitch on mobile, so. But you have to stay like in that screen. But if it doesn't let you click the answer, it might be because I've already revealed the answer. So when, when I get ready, I'm gonna get ready to do the next question. So when I do the next question, make sure you go into the, Go into the, the quiz kit right now. For those on mobile, get into the quiz kit right now. We are going on to the next question. I will wait here and we're gonna go to the next question. So go into the quiz kit if you're on mobile. This is in five, four, three, two, one. Your next question is approximately how long does it take to boil plain dried spaghetti? Plain dried spaghetti. Let's get out some of this bread. Yeah, you get it. There's like, I think I have it set for, I tried 30 seconds and it was too long. And on 30 seconds, I got, I got two glitches on the 30 seconds. But if I put it to 25, I got no glitches. So I don't know. Let's do, we're going to keep this one. All right, we're going to do it like this. Waiting for y'all to answer. Doop, boop, doop, boop, boop. Mm, yeah, that'll be okay. So maybe, we'll see which one I want to have. We'll see which one I want to have a little bit extra of. All right, let's reveal the answer. Approximately 10 to 12 minutes is all it takes to cook pasta, but always check it. Always check it. If your pasta is exceptionally dry, so this we're gonna do, oh, I know what we have to do first. Dirt it -er. 
I forgot to, so we're going to slice up our cucumbers. That's sending out to all the players. Remember, even if you buy English cucumbers, you'll notice I cut the end off. That was where the blossom end was. I already ate some off where the stem end was. But always cut the blossom end off on your cucumbers and on your, um, leave it to simmer overnight. I like the crusts. But always cut off the blossom end and your cucumbers will last, and your zucchini, all your squashes, your zucchini, all your cucumbers, cutting off that blossom end will save you several days worth of freshness on your. And on these, I'm not gonna have all that skin on there because tea sandwiches are supposed to be very delicate. We want them to be very, very delicate. I missed the timer. Okay, as soon as I, okay, so, okay, so fancy, go to, go to the, go to the app right now. So anybody on mobile, Click on the quiz kit right now. You love the shirt, property of the Klingon Empire, because we all know that Kanar is my Klingon name. If you guys didn't know that, I am a full battle Klingon. I have a picture of it over here too, if you guys want to see me as a, as a Klingon. Yeah, that'll be fine. Welcome to the kitchen. This Sunday's Star Trek Next Generation. Next Sunday is Voyager. The Sunday after that is DS9, and that is Collab Kojo, Kapla, Kapla. And we're gonna slice these real thin because that's what you're supposed to do. There's the Collab, we're gonna be doing it with Kalino. I am, he offered to cook, a, cook up one of the dishes. He goes, yeah, I can, I can do a cooking stream too. And I'm like, uh, yes, please, yes, please. So we're both cooking a dish from this cookbook for from, or from DS9, and I am super duper excited. Whoa, <sighs> they're finally mowing the field next to us. Yeah, you guys won't be able to see that because the way I had the camera pointing, darn it. If I had known they were gonna be mowing today, I would have. But when you slice it and you take off some of the, you take off some of the skin, See how pretty they look? They just kind of have this, just a little touch of color on there. This is a thin skin. All right, so let's do the, let's do the next question. Everybody to the quiz kit, if you're on mobile, to the quiz kit in five, four, three, two, one. Here comes the question. What should you do if you get stung by a jellyfish? <laughs> Pee on the sting. That's right. I stepped up and I would have peed on any one of you. Remember Joey saying that in Friends? <laughs> I probably don't need any more cucumber than that. We'll find out. We'll see. Huds, hello. How are you doing today? Do the jellyfish dance. Actually, it'd be like, it'd be like this, wouldn't it? Wouldn't this be the jellyfish dance with all the little tendrils? <laughs> yes. I just said it in chat. Yeah, you're going you're you're to click on the screen where the answer is. Are you guys ready for the answer? I can tell you it's not pee on it. You soak it in warm water. All right. Our cucumbers are sliced. I'm going to put a damp paper towel on top of those. I absolutely love Joey. We had so much fun doing the Friends cookbook. We did Joey's meatball sub. And remember, Joey doesn't share food. We did Rachel's trifle. Yeah, we did that. And uh, yeah, I ate it. And we made it with hamburger. So when did we stop peeing on it? You know, I would be interested to know like when that came around as, as a thing. Because even when I was in, when I took scuba diving lessons back in late 90s, we were told warm water. We weren't told, Suki, how are you doing? Miss Suki. Okay, I don't need any more of the paprika. Paprika goes up here. Yes, these all used to be alphabet alphabetical order. And no, they are not now. They are not now. I see, thank you so much for that. 
for that follow. I appreciate that. You now have a seat at the infinity table. You get to customize your chair. Good afternoon, crochet. <gasps> crochet, I wanted to show you something, but I can't bring it over because I, 20, 22 times I practiced with this and I, I didn't like the first one, didn't like, I didn't like any of them. Finally got it this morning. I'm doing the feather stitch and it's coming out beautiful. I love it. Once, once you get the hang of that one, I'm like, I like that one. So yes, I am doing canned, this kind of canned tuna because I don't have any of my own canned tuna. And I'm just going to do a little, when I do my, my regular canned tuna, I do it in pint jars, just like I did my tuna. Toy boat, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. Crochet is a treasure to watch, guys. Her streams are so relaxing. And she does, so, she does some of these cute, she even did a crab, crocheted a little crab animal. And one of the ones I love that I thought was just precious as all get out was the, um, the puffer fish that you did. Hey, where's my, I don't, want, I don't want the liquid that's in here. So I'm gonna kind of drain that out a little bit. Unless I need to update, I have no idea why quiz kit won't work for me. Jedi, are you on? PC or are you on mobile? I'm just gonna kind of squeeze that and get all that juice out of there. PC. So when you when you click on did you click you clicked on quiz kit, yeah? Which is over here. Quiz quiz kit is quiz kit is like right about here. Buster, nice to see you. Are you letting, and you have to let Twitch have access. You have to, you have to grant it. Uh, today you get to be chef and tech support. Look at me go, look at me doing it. And a Klingon, and a Klingon. I have seen a lot of people struggle with this quick kit, quiz kit and other streams. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it may just be a, a communication error because Maybe somebody, we get people who are watching our streams from all over the world, right? And maybe somebody doesn't understand. I'm gonna rinse this out. I'm gonna put that chicken in here. I wanna, I really wanna get that blended down. I don't want chunks. If these are tea sandwiches, we don't want chunks. I wanna make sure there's no, I wanna make sure there's no seaweed on the, uh, on the blade. I don't want the seaweed on my, I don't want the seaweed on me. Um, I'm a Trekkie. Are you a Trekkie or a Trekker? There's Trekkie and Trekkers. I'm a Trekkie. I'm a Trekker. The adage was you were a Trekkie if you knew if Spock had ever smiled on an episode of Star Trek. And you were a Trekker if you knew what episode and why. I don't know why there has to be a competition in being a Star Trek fan. There is no reason to have it be a competition. All right, let's review. Oh, let's do the next question. There we go. All right, next question for if you was on mobile. Maka Waka's in the house. Can we get a shout out for Maka Waka? How are you, Maka Waka? There's just so much to watch and so little time in the day. And this is true. You have to be selective. Time is short. And let me tell you, you really realize how much time you wasted in life when you start getting up in my years. So always wanted to go see something or go do something, find a way to do it. Find a way to do it. Oh, this is, this is chicken. This is uh, bumblebee canned chicken. I just used the bumblebee canned chicken. Time is an illusion. Yes, he did smile. Pilot episode, the menagerie. But that alone is a bit of a controversy about the first episode. Because, yes, yes. There's all so many different things you can do in Star Trek. I'm telling you what. All right, so we're gonna do the next question. So those on mobile, head on over to the app. Five, four, three, two, one. Our next question is, according to bartender.com, which of these drinks typically has the highest alcohol content per glass? I know the answer to that one right off the get-go. I don't even have to, matter of fact, I, won't, I don't even have to look at the answers. I would know the answer to that one. Never use canned chicken. I love my canned tuna, 
hands down love my canned tuna. But I only wanted a small amount of chicken, so I'm not going to use one of my pint jars of chicken, and I have to do chicken. We'll, we'll, we'll be doing that on stream here, and I have to get some chicken actually done. So I don't think I'm going to add in any... Um, I don't think I'm going to add in any onion to this. I want this to be bright, and I want this to be tasty. I might mix in a little bit of dill with it. Did I put the dill away? Oh, here we go. Because we're going to be doing the... And we're doing the paprika with this. So let's do, let's just mix in a little bit of salt and pepper and call it a day on, on the chicken. If you guys have headphones, take your headphones off or cover your ears. Because I'm going to do this. Cover your ears. Take, take your headphones off. One, two, three. All right, good enough for government work. The feeling when you have to accept some FPS games, I can't play. I did a massive, ooh, I didn't think about that. I did massive motion sickness. I felt like I was on board a boat. There are some games that, that's why they tell you like on a lot of, um, like those motion sensor, not those motion sensors, but those motion rides that you go on. Derek usually gets his neck thrown out and that's why he can't do a lot of those motion rides. Because all of a sudden they'll like, if, it's like if, if they're showing you like you're going over like a cliff and all of a sudden you're and they drop and it will, it'll pop his neck out. He can't do those on those. Okay. You know, it's a really interesting factor. I've never even remembered that canned chicken exists. You can get canned chicken. You used to be able to get chipped beef. I don't know if they still have that or not. I don't know if they still have on that. On Paramount, you can watch the first unedited, uncut, unblended pilot episode of Star Trek. I'm, I'm just still kind of angry at Paramount. And I know that the only one missing out is me. Paramount doesn't give two shakes of a lamb's tail if I am watching their show or not or subscribing to their channel. To me, it's, to me, it's the principle. You can still get chip beef? There we go. I just used that spoon. I didn't mean to use that. Um, yeah, that, that's what it is for me. It's the... I know. It's sad. I'm not going to use a lot of mayo. I know it looks like a lot, but... It, great. It really isn't. I just want to just, I'm just going to throw everything today. I'm just going to throw it. I'm just going to throw everything. I love those rides, but with a broken neck. Yeah, Derek has a very sensitive neck and his is from riding the motorcycle for, well, he rode a motorcycle for 28 years on the department. And his is because his neck, the, the vertebrae are a little bit spaced out because when you wear a helmet on your head for 12 hours a day, except for when you come in, you know, to, to you know, get something to eat or, um, you know, you're going to use a restroom or whatever, 12 hours a day, you, um, that's a lot of weight on your head. And when you're looking down, so think about this, there's a whole graph that shows how much weight is on your head at each angle that you put your head down. So people who are looking at their phones all the time like this are doing this, they're really stretching out those, those vertebrae and they actually call it tech neck. And it causes a lot of problems when you get older. So if you're going to look at something, do this. Bedtime for me. Thank you, Nella, for coming over here. I appreciate you coming in and visit and hanging out. Dream the good ones. I hope you have a, a lovely night's sleep and a lovely day tomorrow. Uh, hard to be a vegetarian when you can't hardly find anything. I think what's interesting to me is the use of ingredients in different ways that some of these new vegetarian cooks are really coming out with. And I find that a fascinating thing, but you have to really understand your flavor profiles. Okay, we have our chicken made for this. We have our lemony cucumber sandwiches made here. Let's get our eggs ready. We're going to take these out. So the eggs, I'm going to, oh, you know what I need to do? Hang on, let's rinse this out here. So I don't want the chicken in there. Always good to have hot soapy water. Just for this reason, I'm gonna put the eggs in the food processor too. I wanna to break these up and mix them just with a tiny bit of mayo. I shouldn't have put the mayo away. Just enough to bind them together. And then we'll still have the cream cheese on the one side of, on the one side of the bread. We're gonna have some good stuff. I have a book. It was designed for young girls. 
and it's called it's uh, Princess Tea Party, and it's how to do a fancy little tea party with all those little fancy, those little fancy uh, tea sandwiches and whatnot. Oops, oh, let's get a little bit of. Don't want the, don't want to get shell on your. Don't want to get shell on your egg. So let's see, our plankton loaf, I'm gonna peek at that as soon as I get this, this stuff done. How long has our plankton loaf been rising? I wonder if it's even rise. Oh, I am so sorry, I wasn't used to, I was, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I love the little tea parties. So Long Island iced tea. A uh, martini just has usually about a jigger and a splash of, and I can't remember what the splash is. That one totally, gosh darn it. I know Kalina would know this. I know Kalina would know this. And a white Russian is Kahlua and milk. Bloody Mary, of course, is vodka and tomato juice or V8 juice or whatever kind of tomato based thing you want on there. I uh, believe it is bedtime for me as well. Lex, thank you so much for coming in here today. I hope that you get to feeling better. Just go relax. Oh, these eggs came out perfect. Oh, did you Pantry see up! We were talking about you. Come on. Come on. Come on, stop looking at the shiny stuff. There we go. Look at that perfect. No green whatsoever. If you guys are getting a green ring around your yolk, your eggs are cooked too long. I was talking to Rusty today about... November, and Chef Nagin, and Dana's Kitchen, and Little Miss Nikki, and Chef Steve. It is going to be awesome sauce. Prosecco. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. That could be. Vermouth is in a martini. Is, is normally in a martini, but I didn't know if it was something different because of the name. Sometimes they use different, different things. Different things. Sorry, I can't eat them without the green. That's how my mom made them. <laughs> yeah, they started to get that green. The way I, and I remember now how I used to do my, my eggs. I would start my eggs in cold water, bring it up to a simmer. The minute it got between a simmer and a boil, I'd turn the heat off, leave the lid on, let them sit there for about 10 minutes. And that's how I used to do my, my eggs in a pan. Passion fruit and champagne. How long uh, we give up on Star Trek? Oh, we can give up on this one, yeah. How do we start this? How do we stop? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Um, can I click on home? In game. There we go. So we all got it, we all got it down pretty much, right? On how we're going to do the Star Trek. So we're going to go to the first Star Trek one. I'm doing two Star Trek quizzes. Winner of each quiz will win a sticker, a Leonardo da Vinci sticker. I should have those next week. So you will have to give me a name and a mailing address uh, for me to, to send this to you. And this goes this way. So remember, everybody, make sure you have it, have your account registered. If we can do the directions in there one more time. Sorry, uh, no tea, sorry, it's too hot, I know. I, I, I just, I was like, it's, it's already like 88 degrees outside. I was like, mm, no. I cooked them too long before, got sidetracked, forgot. Burnt eggs got thrown away. Charm cap, the first time my mom made boiled eggs, now my mom's generation versus Derek's mom's generation, almost 20 years difference in age. Derek's parents were much older when they had him. But my mom had boiled eggs, forgot she put them on the stove, went off and did other things and all this kind of, and came back in and it smells horrendous in the house, but there's no water in the pan and there's no eggs in the pan. They both hit the ceiling. There we go, so there's your, make sure you register and you link and you, you authorize access to your Twitch account. All it wants is your username so it can just say, oh yeah, okay, you got that. And you only have to do it once. So now, once you register, you go into other people's streams and they're doing trivia nights, like a date night in does these really fun trivia nights, you're already registered with it. I know, just blew them up, up on top of the ceiling and there you go. It was like, well, that's how, that's how we do that. All right, we're going to do a Star Trek question here we go. 
We're going to start the, I'm going to put the rules. Why don't you get an electric stove? I have a burner here, an electric cooktop burner. I don't like cooking on electric. Uh, this is propane. My whole house is propane. And I live, out in the, I live out, in the, out in the countryside. So for me, I have a little cooktop here that I can cook on stream and everything. But everything back there, I love cooking on my gas. You have instant control with gas. If I need to turn the heat off, particularly when I'm canning, if I need to turn that heat off because maybe it's getting too hot, the pressure's building too fast, and for safety reasons, I need to turn it off, all I gotta do is turn off the flame. Even on this stove here, if something were to go wrong, I have a quick shutoff valve. All I gotta do is just slide underneath there, and I just have to take this little, little yellow lever, push over to the right, gas is turned off. So it's, it's safer for me on that thing. Thank you for that lurk. The retro COVID, uh, she's a 1934 Magic Chef stove. We're gonna start the quiz. It's gonna send the directions over to you guys. Sending, it's sending the rules over now. So remember, if you're on PC, you will click here in the screen where my hands are. You're gonna click on the answer you wanna do. Don't forget if you're on PC, here's where you gotta come over here and register quiz kit and get a uh, quiz kit ready to go. And then uh, Barry put up the information on there for the, uh, that's also an event of an induction. Yeah, you move it off. But most canners can't be used on induction cooktops because they're aluminum. They're, they're, they're all aluminum and they, they don't make that magnetic connection on there. There is one canner now that Presto came out with that is, they put the bottom on it for induction cooking. Yay, finally, that was like, uh, but that is a neat thing because you can, you can have a burner this big on an induction cooktop and if you just put it, you just put it on one little piece, you just have like a little simmer. Hey, Peanut, how are you doing? All right, guys, if you are on mobile, be sure to go to the app now. It's the next screen that you want to go on to. We are going to start the game in five, four, three, two, one. All right, here comes the first question. What was the name of the character who replaced Crusher on the Enterprise? You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I think we'll do that one for the chicken. I think we'll, do, we'll definitely do these two. Don't forget, you gotta add, you gotta. Everybody's, everybody's putting that up there, I like it. So this one we can only get all right, so we're gonna do two of these. Let's see if I can get two out of this one. What's Derek cooking now? Uh, I think he's thawing some ice cream so that he can have some ice cream for dessert. He's eating my non-dairy chocolate ice cream. Thank you for that hydrate. All right, guys, here is your answer. It was Dr. Pulaski. So Dr. Uh, Picardo, Picardo was actually the actor who played the doctor on Voyager. Yeah, it should be. I'm just letting it sit in there to... Yeah, that's good enough. It's, it'll just sit here and cool now. It'll be fine. We just got to get the meat out of it. We're going to get the meat out of it. All right. Are you guys ready for the next question? I'm going to get a knife so I can spread this stuff out. And he's getting all of his whipped cream on there as well. All right, guys. If you are on mobile... Be sure to go into the mobile app. You can hear the whipped cream, right? It's like, hey, what's my hearing? I'm gonna put that on there. All right, next question in five, four, three, two, one. Here comes your next question. What was the name of Worf's father? It's funny that, that, that his name was, the, 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 actor who, the actor's actual name was something Picardo. I, I can't remember what it was, but it was something Picardo.
Robert Picardo, thank you so much, Invisible Dimensions. I appreciate that. Mm. This lemon cream cheese, oh, my lanta. That is good. This one I'm going to have a lot of extra of. I'll be figuring, oh, oopsie. I'm just guessing. I saw the original series and a couple of the movies in the originals, not much of the others. You know what would be interesting? Sometimes people say, you know, I never, I never really watched it. You know, my significant other did, and it was. I heard it in the background, but I never watched it. And what ends up happening is you absorb a lot of that. All right, let's check what the answer is. Let's see who. Let's see who got this one right. Oh, you guys did good. So Kern was one of his enemies. Ducat was a a not so nice uh, family, and Martok I just made up. <laughs> And that's fancy, that's okay, don't worry about it. And the reason why, I won one of the trivia contests in a date night in stream a long time ago because, and I only answered one question. The one question I got right, I was like, I know the answer to this. And I got like 29,000 points for answering it right. But the funny part was, is that um, other people were answering, had answered questions, had gotten several of them wrong. And because I had answered it and got it right, I end up with more points than they did. They all lost points. So you just never know. You never know. I might do another one of those in there. All right, are you guys ready for the next? Adoptive or biological? Oh, you know what? Wick, that, that, I should have I should have added that. This would have been his biological father. Should have added that. That is good. I'm gonna, I, will, I will remember that for some of the other questions for the next thing. Guessing is a good thing if you guess right. Yep, you just never know. The waiting, my nemesis. Okay, you guys ready? Those on mobile, head to the app now. And we are going to do the next, the next question in five, four, three, two, one. Next question's coming to you. Question number three. How many episodes of Star Trek Next Generation were there? Do you all know? <laughs> Let's see if you guys know. I remember when you used to be able to go to bars and they'd have trivia night. And there was this one bar that um, was in the Rancho Cucamonga area of, of uh, Southern California. And Lemon and okay, I got the, I got to get the eggs going. And they sometimes would do like Star Trek night, and I usually know all that stuff off the top of my head. It was it was crazy weird. There we go. Also, for those that have earbuds or headphones on, pull those away for a quick second. So if you have earbuds in, pop them out. If you have headphones on, take them off real quick. I got to use the food processor again. Here we go. Thank you. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. All right, you guys ready for the answer? I'm curious how many of you got, oh, I'm impressed. How many of you Googled that? How many Googled that? our egg in here. It's our little egg sandwich. No cheating. Leo, how are you doing? It's like talking to Leo's cousin, right? It's like talking to Leo's cousin. Huh? I know, I saw him go by. Actually, I heard it before I saw him. I happen to know because I just put together a spreadsheet for some friends. That is so cool. The bread's kind of rising. It's sort of rising. So I have every episode and every movie catalog. Whoa. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work to do that. Okay, I forgot to get it. I got to get a little bit more mayonnaise because I want to do the, um, the egg salad. All right, next question. 
For those on mobile, head to the mobile app or the mobile interface, I should say. I don't need, this one's gonna have even less, even less. Use your channel points for the tattoo reveal or use your channel points for crab dances. Up to you, up to you. All right, a little bit of egg salad. And I like doing it in the food processor because it kind of shreds it all up. We're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. So I know it's gonna need it. I need to use the word Skywalker for a marketing application on my cover letter with no contents. I need to use the use Skywalker. Can you reference daydreaming? Because a Skywalker could be thought of as somebody who daydreams to think of ideas. That's how you get your creative inspiration is by skywalking, skywalking through my thoughts. Me, charm kitty cat. I've had them though for years. You just all have never seen them. I'm tattooed down to here. <laughs> and I'm gonna get another one when I go to Texas, guys. And if, uh, if Twitch wants to, you know, come into the chat, hey, Twitch baby, Put a purple check by my name for me. I've been an awful good girl. Hey, Twitch baby. So come on into my stream today. <laughs> That's my thought. If, if it had to be said, because marketing, you know, you're having to think of, of different things. You have to be very creative. You got to walk across the clouds sometimes and look down and get your inspiration type thing. I don't know, you can, probably, you can probably come up with something on that. You can probably come up with something better than I can. All right, next question. Mobile users, I've used my max allotted tattoo points. Yeah, you can only use a max amount for each stream. So each stream has its own allotted points that you get to use. And I think I overfilled this, probably. Let's just take a little bit of that off of there. So mobile, un mobile users, head to your section for the trivia quiz. And five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Question number four. What was the name of Data's, 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 I'm reading it wrong, evil twin brother? Leo coming in with 2K, Suki coming in with 2K. Suki's like, uh, yeah, we're doing this, girl. You don't have a choice. We're doing this. Let's put in some cucumbers on here. Uh -uh. Right, coming in, popping down some points. Mm, this one, because it's the cucumber, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh, behave. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the answer? I would also like to know the results of that because Skywalker Ranch is supposed to be a pretty weird place. Interesting. Yeah, so um, Invisible Dimensions, you have to follow up here with us on next stream, which will be on Wednesday. We're doing condiments on Wednesdays, guys. Condiments for Wednesday, so I will be making I'm going to show you guys how to make a small batch of Heinz 57 ketchup. I'm going to show you guys how to make mayo. I'm going to show you guys how to make ranch dressing from scratch. And we're going to do barbecue sauce that Lori gave me, a recipe that she, that she gave me. So yeah, I think that's Skinwalker Ranch. Oh, oh. There's our timer for, I got to check our bread over there. All right, let's reveal, oops, I just stopped the chat. There we go. Let's reveal the answer. Most all of you got it right. Oh, I made up the word land. I thought, man, I wonder if I can trip them up with this one. Actually, I made up all of them, but Lauren, Lan, Larn. Lauren just sounded too much like LARPing, so I thought, no, nobody's going to guess that. One person did, so I got, I got a few of you. I got a few of you. I'm very proud of myself right now with that one. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Lan sounds like a, I was also thinking Lan, L-A-N right the tech term land so i thought oh i wonder if that'll get in their heads and start start kind of trip them up a little bit i just i'm just so proud of myself right now i'm just so proud of myself right now 
I got y'all. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on here because we're done with these. And I wanna, I'm just gonna cover this up with some saran. We'll put this in the fridge. Put that inside there, get rid of that. Mm. Okay, oh, I gotta touch these, I gotta. I know it's kind of full because I was gonna do some tea, but it was just too hot for tea. And he's over there making a hot cup of coffee. I'm like, oh no. Character Strange New Worlds? I didn't, I've not seen Strange New Worlds. I am very proud of my trickery. I have become dubious in my older age, very dubious. At least you didn't put the daughter's name in there. I would be way confused. Don't think I have it on right yet. What are, you, uh, what are you trying to do, Crochet? Maybe we can help. I think this one, we're gonna come up over here. So when you guys are, I know it's hard to see because of the interface thing that's going here. But when you're making tea sandwiches, before you cut the crust off, do your cutout things because it's gonna give you support while you're cutting down without breaking through and having it do more of like a crushing than a cutting. And then if you still have like little extra pieces left over that you wanna save, then you can cut the crust off, crust off that way. Are you on PC or mobile, Crochet? That plays a, that plays a, a big difference in how you do it. Mobile. So you have to go to the interface. Like when you're in this chat here, you have to sync up your account with um, QuizKit. Oh, okay. I thought you were having trouble getting the, the QuizKit to work. I got one, but that's not it. Likely not to get too many because I only washed a few of the, of the Picard ones. You never know what you might find out. All right, so those on mobile head to the QuizKit the quiz kit answer section. We're going to go on to the next question. Missing this question goes along with my day. I got the ribs out to dry rub and they smell like a cross between ammonia and rotten eggs and I just bought them. That's probably the cryovac chemical that's in there. So they get, when, the, when, the, when, the, when they go into the baggies, the baggies are like much larger than the, than the ribs themselves. Cryovac is put inside there and then it's sealed. All the air is sucked out and then it's instantly sealed. You can actually rinse them in water. Just take them out, it's kind of like that goo. Anytime you take anything out of cryovac, just kind of rinse it under cool water. Just kind of get that, it's kind of slimy. Just kind of take that stuff off. It won't hurt you, it won't make you sick. But check the date on it. Was, and I, I'm assuming that the bag was completely sealed, that there was no air inside the bag. Because cryovac, it is sealed around the meat and there's no air bubbles or anything inside there. If you did have air bubbles, then, then you might want to start questioning that. Take, I would take it back to them for sure. All right, so those on mobile, head on back to the app there in five, four, three, two, one. Here comes your next question, number five. What was the name of the first episode? Can I get, I might be able to make that work, okay. Oops, there's one of our flower ones. Let's see if I, let's see who gets it right. Let's see who gets this right. I'm gonna put this one over here. Oh, I do want to cut this one here. All right, let's do. I'm gonna see if we can finagle a shape here that I wanted to do. Oh, this will, this will work out perfect. I took a wild guess. Sometimes those are the best guess. I have a little bit extra of the chicken salad one. Mm. You don't remember the name of the first episode on the original? Oh, I have to. I got, I got to be sneaky. I got to be sneaky, fellows. I can't make it super easy for you. All right, let's reveal the answer. Encounter at Farpoint. Oh, almost all of you got that right. 
I made, okay, the one episode I made up was Beyond. Time's Arrow was an episode. Amok Time was, a, was an episode. So yeah, we're talking next generation, next generation. Encounter at Farpoint was the first episode on next generation. All the questions will have to do with, this one's gonna be the hard one to get in here. I gotta cut through those cucumbers. There we go. And there is my bratty kid. Hang on, let me make sure that all is good with her. Oh, my daughter's, oh, I'm so proud of her. I'm gonna let her know that I'm streaming now, streaming now. Okay, sorry. All right, are you guys ready for the next question? If you're on PC, if you're on mobile, you know what to do. If you're on mobile, in five, four, three, two, one. Question number six is, what was the name of the ship Captain Picard first commanded? So before Captain Picard was the captain of the USS Enterprise, he was captain of the USS Brat to Proud in 10 seconds. <laughs> She's my baby girl, so I have to be proud of her. Oh, this, is, this will actually give me two. Okay, we're going to do this. We're actually going to do this. It's, a, you know, when they're kids, particularly girls will do this. When they get to about 11, 11 years old, they come home from school, and they will come home in a fantastic mood just fantastic. They walk into their bedroom, they put away their backpack or whatever, and they come out and the world is crap. They hate everybody, everybody hates them. Their emotions go from zero to 120, like that, like that. All right, let's see who got this right. Let's see who got this right. Oh, you, gosh, you guys, I am proud of that. I am proud of that, USS Stargazer. Look at you all doing it. Making me so proud over there. Making me so proud. Okay, let's do our next question. Let's get ready to go. Mobile users, get on there. That's two, right? See, it happens. It happens. Let's do this one here. All right, here we go. Mobile users in five, four, three, Two, one. And question number seven is, what was the name of the Enterprise's sister ship? Just like the Queen Mary had a sister ship. This does not want to cut through there. Let's see if we can help this along. I'm guessing the whole way, the competition with the Trekkies is fierce. And this one didn't come out as good as I wanted to. Well, it didn't get the little zhizhi lines, but that's okay. We're only making a few of these sandwiches. If you guys are doing like a big tea party or a nice party, I'd have you do, I need to cook, be right back. There you go, thank you so much for that, Barry. Um, Barry, I hope you're cooking up something like really, really good. Secret, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate that. All right, these are all the leftover sandwiches, but I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to eat those later. All right, let's look at the answer. The USS Yamada. Wow, I really thought you guys would say the Galileo. I'm so mad. I think I got this wrong because I saw a similar name and clicked on it without thinking. Oh, the Yorktown. And that's why they were at opposite ends. I'm not sure how they would show. I don't know how they showed up on the four, the four answers, though. I don't know if they showed up like right next to each other or one below the other or catty corner to each other. I don't know. All right, let's, we'll just put these on a little. All right, are you guys ready for the next one? Are you guys ready for the next one? I have to start prepping dinner. I will let you go prep dinner. What are you prepping? Y'all are going off to prep dinner, but none of you are telling me what you're making, and that just kind of made Maggie. Hello, Galileo was a shuttle, and that was in that was in our last 
our last, um, the next, uh, the original Star Trek. So these are our. Uh, I'll put this over here. I'll put this one here. Okay, mobile users. Oh, that's right, the Mexican pizza. Oh my gosh, you guys are all. Oh my gosh, you guys are really putting in the really putting in the points today, aren't you? Oh Gadzooks. Oh Gadzooks. How close are we? I can't, I can't even see how close we are on that. Mmm. All right. I'll step up. I'll step up. Just remember, my arms are not as youthful as they used to be. <laughs> 23% raise. Great. On day one. Okay. It's up for 30 days. It's up for 30 days. I'm going to put those into a baggie. Because I will continue to eat those. All right. Next question. Next question coming at you in five, four, three, two. This way you don't have to melt with two shirts on, right? Exactly. Those zucchini boats were better today than they were on Friday. Random, I know, but we were talking about dinner. I like it. All right, here comes your next question. The next question, what was the name given to Picard when he was assimilated by the Borg? Remember, you click on your answer. Don't type it in the chat. Unless you want to put down silly answers. Maybe throw off your competition a little bit by putting in a silly answer. You'll be there 100% by midweek. Well, let's see if we have, yeah, if we have, we have our stream on, we have our stream on Wednesday. Malik, thank you so much for those biddies. I heart your face. Barney. <laughs> I assimilate you. You assimilate me. We're all one big family. <laughs> Sorry, that was really bad. I'm, gonna put all, I'm just going to put all this in the fridge so I have all this together so we don't have to have this out here. <laughs> all right. That's good stuff. Let's get out some plastic wrap. All right, you guys ready for the answer? If anybody got this wrong, I'll be disappointed. <gasps> what? Seven of nine? Seven of nine was on Voyager. One of five, I just made that up. And uh, Lakute, I made up too. I, I was just. And the reason why that name came up was I was looking at the name Lacutus, and but I was looking at a picture of Chakotay, and that's how that name got created. Hair of the nun. <laughs> Seven of nine is a girl. Vanish coming in. Man, y'all wanna, y'all are nosy. Y'all wanna be seeing my tats? All right, I'll show it. I'll show my tattoos. When I go to Texas, we're all gonna get a tattoo in Texas. I'm really hoping that it doesn't take that long for Twitch to say, hey girl, what? I got you. And let's put this gadzoo. Where am I gonna put this one? We're gonna put it in here. Because I don't have enough room. I don't have enough room on my shelves for that. I am just curious. I love tattoos. All right, next question, guys. Uh, as a person who has not watched Star Trek, okay, first of all, uh, you just broke my heart. And I fully expect you to rectify that. Vantage coming up with good vibes. Good vibes. Thank you for that lurk, Gloria. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Next question. Mobile. Five, four, three, two, one. Next question. Number nine. How many times did Q appear in the entire series of Star Trek The Next Generation? Q, that entity. The entity we love to hate. Come on, he was an enemy that he was an enemy that we all love to hate. Too dang many. Thank you for the shout out for Tex AG guys. He's a smart cookie. 
he is a smart cookie. He teaches uh, math to uh, grades 10 through 12, right? And you gotta be able to reach those kids. I loved Q. I thought he was such a dynamic character. All he wanted to be was liked. All he wanted to be was liked. He wanted everybody to love him. And if they didn't, then he got snarky. But when Q gets snarky, you know, Q can really mess up your day. Q can really mess up your day. All right, let's reveal the answer. I'll be kind of curious. Oh, most of you thought 12. He was only in nine episodes. Nine episodes, John Delancey. He, was, he played that role so good. You know, it was like, to me, it was like um, Tim Curry playing the original Pennywise the Clown in It. Just, just did so good. Just did so good. Okay, next question. This is our last question coming up. This is the last question for this quiz. Whoever has the highest score will win a Leonardo da Vinci sticker, which I hope to have next week. They, they've been printed. They probably, I'm hoping they'll ship, they'll probably ship on, they'll probably ship tomorrow. And then hopefully I'll get them in a couple of days. So as an Aggie, it is my duty to answer 12. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> see, I'm going for the biggest negative score here. I see what you did there, Krev. I see what you did there. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, someday, I, you know I'm going to have to come up with? I'm going to have to come up with like a booby prize. You know, like the, whoever had like the lowest score. But I won't, I won't say what the booby prize is. I won't say that. It could be a, um, a COD letter or something like that. So here's your booby prize. Negative 100. No. No. Okay, next question, mobile. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's do our next question. Here we come, that's number 10. Who was the first crew member of the Star Trek original series to appear on Next Generation? And then when this one's done, we're gonna get started on our, I need to see how this bread is doing. It rose a little bit, not, not as much as I would have hoped. Not as much as I would have, I don't even know how long to bake it for. It's a pretty dense bread. Do it. I think I know. I think I know. Beavis. Beavis and Butthead. Where they came together as a, as a package deal. <laughs> I had fun making up these questions. This is a good time. I could totally be wrong. I have no idea. It was also on the very first episode it was on the very first episode. Are you guys ready? It was Dr. McCoy. He was walking along with Data down the halls and said, you know, you, you treat her like a lady. You, you, talking about the Enterprise, you treat her like a lady and she'll always take care of you. Very first episode. Oh, that was a good one. Let's look at the results. I'm kind of curious. Who won number one? Lord Velos. Lord Velos. Where's my tablet? tablets over here. Lord Velos. Okay, quiz number one. Lord Velos, I will need you to PM me. Uh, Discord or Twitch, doesn't matter which one. Uh, PM me your i make sure I put that down as a number one, so I remember it's a number one. Uh, a name and a mailing address. Yay. So you guys, normally I'd put these on a cute little doily, but I just took little cookie cutters, right? Okay, we're gonna end, we're gonna end this game here. Let's get this game out of here so we can get, get that off of there. That shall be, so these, these are the cucumber sandwiches. Why do I, there we go. This has the lemon cream cheese and the little slices of cucumber. This was our, our chicken with the, our, our paprika chicken. I don't know why the, it's showing up more yellow in there than it is. 
That's bizarro. That's, oh, that's the, papri that's the paprika. That's the paprika cream cheese and then our, our cream chicken. And then this one kind of squished out. I do apologize for that, but I want to get it to where you guys can see the. And this is the egg with the dill cream cheese that we actually used. Nom, 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 nom. Scotty was also on an episode, yes. I want to say it was sometime around season five or so. It was much later. It was much later in the season. But don't forget, Spock also shows up. So it was kind of neat to have the crossover of the original cast members showing up on Next Generation. I thought that was pretty neat. -o. I'm a big Trek fan. Heck yeah, I love that. I love that. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over this because we don't want these to get dry and I do have a fan over here going on them. We're gonna get started on making up our potato mixture and I don't know about the bread, guys. I'm just trying to figure that out. Yes, the episode where Scotty enjoyed the drink of green. I want to try Romulan ale. I'll put those inside there for right now. Hey, why are you flying over? Stay. Guys, y'all remember the Bob's Burger. Y'all remember the black garlic spread that we made. I am telling you, hands down, you have to try that have to try that. Thank you, Shana. And thank you for the shout out. I can't remember who did it, but I had my hands full at that moment. My mods are just, I'm going to say it. My mods are amazing. I will take that hands down all day. I'm going to drain out these potatoes. I guess I will, I'm going to have to drain them out in sections. And Spock's dad, Spock himself, yes. I, um, so these are the, this is the jar of potatoes that did not seal. Actually, I don't have to take them out of the jar right yet. Just got to get all the juice out. This is why I like having that shoulder to the a regular mouth jar is because it holds them down and keeps them in the liquid. Oops. So that's good enough for me. You can have that one. I will tell you that black garlic was so, so good. I mean, it was like, I had no idea it was going to hit so many different flavor profiles on the tongue. I had no idea it was going to be that flavorful, but I highly recommend it. I just bought the one bulb. This is why I love Star Trek. Well, I watched all the originals when they aired, all the original Star Treks when they actually aired. And I was so glued to the screen because... You know, what's interesting is that you, you can look at science fiction, well, maybe not as much now because of, of CGI and everything that we have now. But when I was growing up, when you looked at science fiction, you knew the ones that you were watching that were just too far-fetched, that wasn't ever going to happen. But when you watched Star Trek, you thought, this could happen. This could actually be what happens, right? And bakery worker, do you know that you have to have your lines memorized when acting with Patrick Stewart, otherwise he is not happy. I have not, I have not heard that. I know that when they did, when he would come in for the conventions, he really prefer, he preferred the improv with the other, the other cast, cast members and stuff like that. When he, they'd be up there and they'd have like their little panel and stuff like that. Um, thank you so much for that, Shane. I appreciate that. Toss is my fave. Thanks to my dad for showing me when I was a kid. It is a, it's a good, it's a good show. Cookie question. If a recipe doesn't call for sifted ingredients, will it hurt if I sift it? I've seen so many on here say to sift all ingredients. Some recipes they don't want you to sift because they want those little clumps of flour in there. The girl who bakes is the one who's going to answer this question. But as my understanding, because as we know, I'm not a baker, but I do play one here on Twitch, is the reason why the clumping is a lot like you don't sift the flour before you make cornbread. You want those little lumps in there because those lumps are going to absorb that extra liquid that's inside there and evenly distribute it. So that's, that's what I was told. I saw Marlena Sirtis at a Comic Con and I got to ask her a question. So isn't that cool? It's kind of neat when you get to meet them. I'm always surprised whenever I meet, and I've met them all numerous times, and still I'm surprised at the height of a lot of them. It's, it, 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 I'm flummoxed when I meet people who are 
your TV personalities, your movie personalities, and they're shorter in stature. 25% complete tea bear. Holy schmoly. Oh, this makes me, okay. Okay, there we go. But some things when they tell you to sift, it's because they want, they're going for a super fine texture. They don't want any clumps, lumps, or anything. They want that to be pristine all the way throughout. Hey, Kanara, ever play the Klingon White Elephant Gift Exchange? That would be hysterical. Here, have a Romulan ear. <laughs> have a Romulan ear. I thought it was going to take a month. Audrey and Joyce. Can we get a shout out for Audrey and Joyce, please? I met Doug Bradley, original pinhead. It's, Aren't you amazed when you go, you, you know, you see that and you're like, there they are. And you, and you have to actually kind of like look down a little bit. And I don't mean like look down. I'm like, I'm going to scorn you and look down, but kind of like look down a little tiny bit. I don't know if we can get to 25%. Tea sipping elf coming in with, oh, goodness gracious. Audrey, I need to have you. Why don't, oh, not that. I want to, why don't I have you on my, I got to add you to my call out board. I need to add you to my call out board. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate that. You can still steal anyone's gift and the white elephant gifts are hysterical they, they are really kind of kind of if you guys have never done one look it up and do it at your next party you won't be disappointed you won't be disappointed all right so we're gonna let that we're gonna i'm still letting that bread sit over there it doesn't even say how long it's gonna bake for i'm really kind of interested to find out because i'm sitting here thinking that maybe i should do the because the bread it's a yeasted bread but remember, it did not touch the sides. It did not touch the sides, and it didn't touch the end, but it is rising. It is, it is actually rising. Rise up. Rise up. I'll get started on our potatoes. Let's get out this. So this is the potato that we did in the microwave. Let's get out some cheese. I'm doing fake cheese. I hope that's okay, Bobby. I have to do my fake cheese. Let's get out some onion. I do have, it calls for a green bell pepper. I have a red one. No, I have a green one. I don't like the green bell peppers. Green bell peppers and I do not get along. White, I mean white bell peppers. Uh, the green ones, I can do the yellow ones a little bit. The orange ones get better, but give me the, get me the green ones and their fake cheese is fine. Oh, yeah, I don't want to get sick. Audrey, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? Guys, Audrey is a great food and drink streamer, but she also plays games. So if you guys want to play games, she was, was last night or yesterday you were playing Fall Guys, doing the Fall Guys. My idea of Fall Guys is I know I'm not going to win. So if I'm on a team, so let's say there's like four of us and like everybody starts, there's like 60 people and you have like a little arrow over your head. And I still try to control the wrong peanut or the wrong jelly bean. And then my, my little jelly bean, it, it's just crazy. I'm, I'm like, oh, look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And that's not my jelly bean. And, but so I've learned that I can go bump people off the edge and protect my teammate. I don't win, but at least I'm helping out my teammate. I've been organizing my house. That's a good feeling. I remember going through my entire closet and I did the whole thing by Marie Kondo. If it didn't bring me joy, out it went, it was gone. It was gone. Can't do anything with green peppers either. Green peppers are your, the first peppers that come out, they're, they're green. And as they continue to ripen, they'll change to different colors. They will change to yellow, then orange, and then red. And red is your sweetest. And why is this onion got, oh, I'm gonna take that whole piece off. Gosh darn it. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll make do, we'll make do. I love the red peppers. They've just got this nice sweetness to them. Okay, chopped, some onion chopped, some cheese chopped some of this chopped, some celery seed thrown in there, a cup of very hot milk. Hmm, I guess I should do that. Actually, I'm not gonna add the milk right away. Let's, let's get everything chopped up and see where our bread is. Is Fall Gang, Fall Guys, Fall Guys, you control a jelly bean. I don't know if that's what they really are, but it's what they look like to me. They look like this little, and you're like a little pink jelly bean. And you have to go through obstacles, and maybe it's things moving up and down. And everybody jumps on one end, and it will, it will sink. And you have to kind of, and then you got to go, and things, and then this, and then this. It's, it's craziness. It is, it is utter chaos. 
watching that game. There's some people who are like really, really good. Isn't this a good shirt? Property, the Klingon Empire, right here. So for those that don't know, I don't know if there's anybody here that doesn't know. Back in the 90s, I was a full battle Klingon. I did a lot of cosplay. And that is me in my full battle Klingon. I just made that costume. That is my Klingon costume. I, my belt is crooked, but don't pay, don't pay attention to that. And what we were doing over here was here, I'm, I'm actually, I'm testing my nose piece. I just glued it on. I'm making sure that it doesn't fall off when I sit there and move my nose around and everything. And I'm helping my cohort right here. This is, oops, this is Paul. He's the guy who always had my back. And this guy's name here was Ray. And it was, wait, is that Ray? 